Leviticus chapter 23 Appointed Festivals The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel, and say to them, These are the appointed festivals of the Lord, that you shall proclaim as holy convocations, my appointed festivals. Six days shall work be done, but seventh day is a Sabbath of complete rest, a holy convocation you shall not you shall not do no work it is a sabbath to the lord throughout your settlements these are the appointed festivals of the lord the holy convocations which you shall celebrate at the time appointed for them in the first month on the 14th day of the month at twilight there shall be a passover offering to the lord and on the 15th day of the same month is the festival festival of unleavened bread to the Lord. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first day you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not work at your occupations. For seven days you shall present the Lord offerings by fire. On the seventh day there shall be a holy convocation. You shall not work at your occupations. The Lord spoke to Moses, Speak to the people of Israel, and say to them, When you enter the land that I am giving you, and you reap its harvest, you shall bring the sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest. He shall raise the sheaf before the Lord, that you may find acceptance. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest shall raise it. On the day when you raise the sheaf, you shall offer a lamb, a year old without blemish as a burnt offering to the Lord and the grain offering with it shall be two tenths of an ephah of choice flour mixed with oil an offering by fire of pleasing odour to the Lord and and the drink offering with it shall be of wine one fourth of a hin you shall eat no bread or parched grain or fresh ears until that very day until you have brought the offering of your God. It is a statute forever throughout your generations in all your settlements. And from the day after the Sabbath, from the day on which you bring the sheaf of the elevation offering, you shall count of seven weeks. They shall be complete. You shall count until the day after the seventh Sabbath. Fifty days, then you shall present an offering of new grain to the Lord. You shall bring from your settlements two loaves of bread as an elevation offering, each made of two tenths of an ephah. They shall be of your choice, flour, baked with leaven as first fruits to the Lord. You shall present with the bread seven lambs a year old without blemish, one young bull and two rams. There shall be a burnt offering to the Lord along with their grain offering and their drink offerings an offering by fire of pleasing odour to the Lord. You shall also offer one male goat for a sin offering and two male lambs, a year old as a sacrifice of well-being. The priest shall raise them with bread of the first fruits as an elevation offering before the Lord, together with two lambs. They shall be holy to the Lord for the priests. On that same day you shall make proclamation, you shall hold a holy convocation, you shall not work at your occupations. This is a statute forever in all your settlements throughout your generations. When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap to the very edges of your field, or gather the gleanings of your harvest. You shall leave them for for the poor and for the alien. I am the Lord your God. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall observe a day of complete rest, a holy convocation, commemorated with trumpet blasts. You shall not work at your occupations, and you shall present the Lord's offering by fire. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Now, the tenth day, day of this seventh month is the day of atonement it shall be a holy convocation for you you shall deny yourselves and present the lord's offering by fire and you shall do no work during that entire day for it is a day of atonement to make atonement on your behalf before the lord your god for anyone who does not practice self-denial 
during that entire day shall be cut off from the people and anyone who does any work during that entire day such a one I will destroy from the midst of the people you shall do no work it is a statute forever throughout your generations in all your settlements it shall be it shall be to you a sabbath of complete rest and you shall deny yourselves on the ninth day of the month at evening from evening to evening you shall keep your sabbath the lord spoke to moses saying speak to the people of israel saying on the 15th day of this seventh month and lasting seven days there shall be the festival of booths to the lord the first day shall be a holy convocation you shall not work at your occupations seven days you shall present the lord's offering by fire on the eighth day you shall observe a holy convocation and present the lord's offerings by fire it is it is a solemn assembly you shall not work at your occupations these are the appointed festivals of the Lord, which you shall celebrate as times of holy convocation for presenting to the Lord offerings by fire, burnt offerings and grain offerings, sacrifices and drink offerings, each on its proper day, apart from the Sabbaths of the Lord and apart from your gifts and apart from all your votive offerings and apart from all your free will offerings, which you will give to the Lord. Now, the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when you have gathered in the produce of the land, you shall keep the festival of the Lord, lasting seven days, a complete rest on the first day, and a complete rest on the eighth day. On the first day you shall, you shall take the fruit of majestic trees, branches of palm trees, bows of leafy trees, and willows of the brook, and you shall rejoice before the Lord your God for seven days. You shall keep it as a festival to the Lord seven days in the year. You shall keep it in the seventh month as a statute forever throughout your generations. You shall live in the booths for seven days. All that are citizens in Israel shall live in the booths so that your generations may know that I made the people of Israel live in booths. When I brought them out of the land of Egypt, I am the Lord your God. Thus Moses declared to the people of Israel the appointed festivals of the Lord.